Hey, what's going on guys? This is Justin with wingsound.com. In this video, you'll learn how to use the selector tool in the Pro Tools 8 score editor. Don't forget, you could always get in contact with me, Justin at wingsound.com, for any questions, comments, or ideas. So the selector tool is right here. As you can see, selector tool. So with this, you can click, drag, and highlight a bunch of notes. And you can hit delete to delete them. Command D to duplicate them. Option R to repeat them. Some cool options there. Or you can right click and then you could switch to a tool to do some quick editing work on those selected notes. You could insert a key signature, a meter, or a chord symbol right by those notes. You can cut copy or if you already copied something, you can paste it. You can merge the notes or you can clear, which is basically the same thing as deleting. And what's really cool is you have event operations. You can quantize those notes very easily. Or another thing that's really cool is you could transpose. So let's say you like the performance, but you don't like, you know, the notes that are played. You want to transpose them an octave and some semitones. You could do that right there. You could transpose them from a certain set of notes, a certain area. Let's say like G3 to E flat 5. You could transpose all notes to a certain note of choice. You can also transpose in key and scale steps, which is really cool. So other options that you have with that is you could change the velocity, you could change the duration, select split notes, input quantize, step input, restore performance, flatten performance. You can also open up the MIDI editor like this and it'll show those notes that selected. And you could also print your score you know you have some a few other options here but those are the main key ones you want to focus on so what you have to keep in mind with the selector tool when you make changes the only data the only MIDI data that follows with it is the note and the velocity data you have to keep this in mind because any other MIDI data such as modulation data will not move or be changed with those notes so you have to be careful about that stuff 